How's everyone doing? Today I have an awesome mail day. First up, I got a contest win right here from Ruth Ashley. She recently had a 150 subscriber giveaway contest, very generous, and she's very nice as well. If you haven't checked out her channel, definitely go do so. Link will be down below for Ruth Ashley. She does all kinds of you know DVD, Blu-ray updates, things like that, movie updates. Uh, she's really into horror as well, and I know she writes for a blog as well, and I like on her uh, description, she said, uh, if Vincent Price and Marilyn Monroe had a baby, that would be her. I, I always like that. Uh, but very cool, very nice, and I was very happy to win uh, the first prize, which was an Amazon gift card for $25. Awesome. Super generous contest. She also had a couple other prizes as well, I believe. And I'm pleased. I'm happy. Very cool. I uh, already have a couple things in mind for this uh, Amazon gift card right here. And on top of that, she sent a card. Look at that. Right there. That's a really sweet looking card as well. I like the little personalized notes. This is like a note and taking a big step up. This is an awesome card right here. Very uh, stylish French card right there. Really uh, gold embossed, limited edition card. And uh, she wrote a little note in there. I'll go ahead and read that real quick. She said, Jay, thank you so much for participating in my giveaway. It's my pleasure. And uh, you deserve way more subscribers. She's awesome, very nice. I love her taste in movies as well. And uh, very generous that you did this giveaway. Your kindness and support means so much to me. Well, thank you. I try. No, uh, I, I don't know. I, I love the interaction on here. I mean, it's that's the best part of making movies on or making videos on here uh, is talking to like-minded people and just talking to people in general and getting to know people on here. I've had a lot of great opportunities, made a lot of great friends on here, and it's you know making videos is a lot of fun. But the interaction is really what makes it enjoyable for me. And uh, I can't say thank you enough. You, it's my pleasure. Uh, to have such an awesome, amazing YouTuber as yourself subscribe to my channel truly means the world to me. Wow. Well, well, thank you. <laughs> that is very kind of you to say. Uh, your videos are awesome as well. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know how to take all this, uh, this niceness. Maybe I'm just too self-deprecating. I don't know. I probably don't come off because I'm really upbeat and positive. But I'm also very self-deprecating. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the giveaway, and I hope that you enjoy the prize. Your friend Ruth. That is very sweet. I really appreciate this card. It's a very nice card as well. Very nice looking. And ooh, there's even uh, roses in the inside. Very nice. I'm going to keep this card. It's a very impressive the card. I like that. Uh, but very cool giveaway. Uh, $25 gift card. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate the opportunity. Very generous. And again, check out Ruth. She's awesome. She's sweet. She's got great taste in movies. And can't say any bad things about her. But I also got a few movies... I know you guys want to see that. Blu-rays right here, and they're all from Echo Bridge Home Entertainment. Uh, four of them right here. Uh, this one is one I haven't seen in a long time. I saw it when I was much younger, and uh, when I was younger, I was skinnier. <laughs> I had two comparisons all the time as far as uh, celebrities. First one was Leonardo DiCaprio because I had that same kind of haircut right there, kind of like a skater cut right there, and uh, yeah, I, I could kind of see the resemblance when I was younger too, and then... Um, Devon Sawa. I got that all the time too. I definitely saw the resemblance there. So a lot of people would like call me that. Uh, I remember when Devon Sawa uh, dyed his hair and he did the music video for Eminem's Stan. I just dyed my hair as well. So my best friend called me and was like, yo, you're on TV. I'm like, what? And I don't know. It was just really kind of funny. But, uh, you know, getting off topic there, like I normally do, rambling. This is a, a movie I haven't seen in a long time and I'm looking forward to revisiting it. It's the first time on Blu-ray. I kind of don't like when they put that on there. That's really unnecessary. They have it on, like, most of these newer ones right here, which I'm not a fan of that. Do you really need that? Just put a sticker on the outside of the, the wrapping so you can take that off. It just kind of takes away from the artwork. It's unnecessary. Um, it's another teammate. Uh, it's another uh, team-up of Robert De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio. They were in uh, This Boy's Life together as well, which was excellent. And this is a great cast in general. Uh, Meryl Streep, Leonardo DiCaprio, Diane Keaton, and Robert De Niro. And uh, it's basically uh, about uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. He's a teenager, and he's coming back home, and you know all the different kind of dramatic aspects of the the family life and things like that. And uh, one of the year's ten bests is Boston Herald, so that's pretty cool. Uh, looking forward to checking that out again. And Fortress with uh, Christopher Lambert from uh, Highlander. Uh, this is one that I saw parts of when I was younger. I remember this being on TV and stuff, uh, but it's been a long time since I've seen this one as well. It's uh, set in 2017. And basically, uh, they're trying to 
uh, build like human robots so they're like taking babies and trying to like engineer robots and uh, Christopher Lambert's looking for his child and he's put into like a futuristic prison and sci-fi goodness right there can't wait to check this one out again and uh, first time on blu-ray <laughs> Uh, next up is a one that I haven't seen, a Visible Scars. It uh, has Tom Sizemore, so you know it's going to be awful. No, I'm just kidding. Tom Sizemore right there. He was actually in a low-budget horror movie called Bottom Feeder, which I liked a lot. Kind of a mutant kind of movie, which, I don't know, I thought that was pretty enjoyable. I never heard anybody talk about that one. It's not great by any means, but for low-budget horror standards, I thought it was pretty pretty good. Uh, this one right here, I don't know too much about this one. It's first time on Blu-ray, though. I know that. And uh, Backwood Scum. Played, Tom, played by Tom Sizemore. Backwoods scum, Mike Gillis. I like that. <laughs> uh, right to the point. Uh, tsh, had twin daughters, but they weren't his. Stolen from their murdered mother. Oh, wow. He keeps the little girls locked up in his basement, where they become severely broken and disturbed. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Years later, uh, they head for the remote mountains to escape their... Uh, one of the girls, I guess, must grow up or something. And I head to the mountains to escape their abusive boyfriend, despite temporary relief from her tormentor. She's overcome with voices trapped in these hills and haunted by their legacy that refuses to die. So I guess it's going to be some psychological horror and, you know, how they dealt with being abused and they grow up and they're all crazy. So that sounds uh, interesting. I guess they're running around in the woods and fighting their demons. I'll give it a shot. Uh, I kind of, I don't know, the cover with the little doll and the blood. Eh, I don't know. And next up is Toby Hooper, uh, Toby Hooper's Mortuary, which this is one that I had on DVD for like forever, and I never just, it was a blind buy, I got it for real cheap one time at like uh, Rite Aid for like $2.99 or something, and I just never ended up watching it. I think I ended up uh, selling because I knew I was going to get the Blu-ray, and uh, I don't know, I haven't seen this one, don't know too much about it. Uh, the Doyle family moves to a small town in California, they start over, and uh, they start I guess seeing different things. There's a long, uh, there's an abandoned funeral home, and creepy things start happening. And yeah, that looks kind of creepy. That one scene right there. So, looking forward to checking that out. Uh, I can't remember that guy's name, but he's been in a bunch of stuff right there. A uh, recognizable face. So it looks like there's a bunch of uh, recognizable actors in here. So that'd be interesting. I'm a big Toby Hooper fan. Of course, does his Poultry Guys, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but he also directed uh, Life Force, which is. One of my favorite vampire movies is like a sci-fi vampire movie, Vampires from Outer Space, and that just got a release from uh, Scream Factory, so it's going to get more exposure finally because it definitely deserves it. Love that movie. I actually have to pick up that release. I, uh, you know, all these Scream Factory releases they keep putting out tons of great titles, but they're they're a little pricey. They're like twenty bucks a pop, so you know, gotta, I, they need to have some sales. They need to have like Full Moon has like fifty percent off sales and stuff like that. Do something like that, Scream Factory. I love what you're doing, but you're breaking my bank. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out Life Force, definitely check out Life Force. And Mortuary, I haven't seen this. Uh, sounds kind of creepy. I'm hoping it'll be creepy. Uh, and if anybody has seen any of these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them, especially the couple that I haven't seen and the ones that I have seen, because uh, it's been a while. I have to revisit them. But there you go. There was my mail day, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Mostly, uh, well, no, not mostly. It's 50-50. Horror, and then sci-fi and drama right there. So mixing it up and uh, again check out Ruth Ashley very nice deserves way more subscribers I think she only has like 390 or something like that so give her some love show her some uh, community support on here I love this community on here I love the interaction let's get to know each other some more hug it out <laughs> uh, but hope you don't mind my goofiness and hope everybody's doing well oh wait wait, wait. I want to show the shirt too uh, I, I did a video for it a while ago but just in case somebody might have missed it I love this shirt and this company as well it's uh, right here. This is From Beyond, which I also think is a very underrated movie. I don't know if you can see that, but look how awesome that is. They just put a Scream Factory release for this out, too, on Blu-ray. Got to pick that up as well. Love this. It's actually my favorite uh, Stuart Gordon uh, movie, which Stuart Gordon, you know, usually people say Reanimator, but this is my favorite, personally. Love Reanimator as well, and Brighter Reanimator, and, but From Beyond, love it. Stars Ken Foray. It has, you know, kind of a, a lot of the notable uh, same characters that are in some of his other movies as well. But a great HP Lovecraft adaptation, and this shirt is just awesome. Awesome sauce to the max. Very colorful, and see if you can get up in there. Get that in there. Look at that. Totally creeptastic. And I don't know if I can get I got my chair all up in the way. You can see that in there. 
And I got legs. Ooh, yeah. I'm not going to do the full hump dance, don't worry. <laughs> but I just wanted to show this shirt because it's awesome. I got that at RottenCotton.com. I'll put a link down below for them as well because they're an awesome uh, horror t-shirt company and they put out a lot of great designs. Uh, the person that designed this is uh, Cryface Designs. I love what they do with their artwork. Amazing. They have a really cool one for Videodrome. They have tons of great shirts, uh, the Cryface Designs for Rotten Cotton. And highly recommend the, the company and Cryface Designs as well. I love this shirt. This shirt is just awesome. I love just looking at it. I'm like wearing it and I'm just like looking at it. Yeah, awesome. Uh, but awesome sci-fi horror movie right there as well. If you haven't checked out From Beyond, definitely go do so. Right there. And uh, again, hope everybody's doing well. And <laughs> take care. Sorry, this is so goofy. Uh, love you guys. Peace.